This is my Exaber deck for Tengu Plant format. I went undefeated at two different locals with this deck, so I figured I'd share what I play. I think it's one of like the stronger decks of the format, uh, and just not a lot of people play it, but it's a nice pick because everybody's prepared for Tengu Plants, and this deck just has a really strong matchup against that deck. So I played Triple Dark Soul. For those that don't know, this is the last uh, format with the ruling where Dark Soul resolves multiple times. If it's sent to the graveyard, then revived, and then sent back to the grave, it'll, you'll get two searches. So this is the last format with that ruling in it. So this card is the backbone of the deck. It's basically, how many times can I resolve Dark Soul? And then I play Triple Iron's Blade. This card is crazy um, because you can crash it in to your opponent's monsters to uh, uh, fill your graveyard with X Sabers. And then it's also like recruiters are like, kind of difficult for opponents' decks to deal with a lot of the time. And then you play Triple Bogger Knight. A lot of decks don't play this, but the x Saber deck has a little trouble with Thunder King, because Thunder King trades well into this, and then Thunder King obviously stops your fall troll. But Bogger Knight is able to crash with Thunder King. If you summon it and your opponent Effect Veilers, who cares? They won't want to summon. If you summon it, your opponent Max Seas. You can just summon a uh, Emmer's Blade, or you can summon any of these monsters. And it's actually just fine. You don't have to play into the Maxi. It'll be a one for one. And then the important part is this card crashes with Thunder King. So you can summon this effect, summon another one. Battle phase, crash with Thunder King. Uh, load up your graveyard with X-Sabers. You can go Emmer's Blade attack into Thunder King. Uh, special summon Bogger Knight, then use this to crash. Uh, yeah, this card is very, very strong. Uh, 1900s, a lot of attack. And then I play three Fall Troll. Um, I want to... Like game ones, I want to play this as a combo heavy deck, and I want to accelerate the game very fast. And three fall troll helps me do that. You don't have to play three fall troll though. I think playing two fall troll is perfectly acceptable um, because it's searchable this format. So uh, this is just like a quote unquote tech choice. It's not standard. And then I play double flow might, double pastel. I play three reinforced truth, so that's why I only play two of this. And then I play one air bellum. Um, three flow might is really good because it's really strong into the plants decks and anything with like um dandelion tokens but i play the air bellum over the third full night just because it lets you uh gain card advantage in open board states and oftentimes you can go like synchro summon and then fall troll or gotham z call back the air bellum and then attack directly or you can get like fall troll summon uh emmer's blade then emmer's blade crash from the opponent's monster summon air bellum fall troll attack over the opponent's monster then air bellum direct so there's just a lot of ways you can gain card advantage um, off the air bellum. So I felt like having one in there as a flex was worth it. And then I played double Veil or Maxi. You just, this deck plays a lot of trap cards, so you don't really have to play many hand traps, I feel. Uh, Veilers are nice, though, because a lot of the banish effects and Hyperion and this type of stuff are the effects you want to stop. And then I play triple duality. Consistency is key uh, in this format. I think duality is one of the strongest cards, of course. And this deck is really strong because you can duality for your combo pieces, but you also don't have to special summon. Like, you can duality and then set Dark Soul, set Emmer's Blade. Duality and then just normal summon Boggart Knight's not even bad. And full on Knight can, like, block and attack. So, duality is just, like, this deck at face value, you don't think it can do use duality, but it actually does very well. And then Book of Man, this card's broken because of full on Knight. Minecon, we play a lot of tuners. Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy, the Trinity for this format. And then I play Triple Gotham's E-Call. Uh, oftentimes I'll side one of these out if I'm like going second on uh, games two and three, but this card's very strong game one. Uh, it's a raw plus one, and it's very easy to set up because unlike Edison format, you have a lot more synchros in the extra deck and uh, Dark Soul. And this card lets you recur Dark Soul and then synchro summon, then add. It's like very, very strong card. And then if you're playing like Mirror Forces or like uh d prisons or like you know uses some removal on your synchros you can chain this bring back two it's just very good uh and then triple reinforced truth this card's insane uh one of the best cards in the deck it lets you keep an x saber monster on board uh Pashul can't be destroyed by battle so it can just like end your opponent's battle phase it plays around max c both of these two because you can use them in the opponent's end phase and then your turn you can synchro someone as an inherent someone so it makes using max c awkward for your opponent and what's really important is uh, this deck also plays a lot of traps. Like we play Double Warning, Solemn, Torrential Tribute, Mirror Force, and Trap Dust Shoot. So Reinforced Truth is important because it's a chainable card, right? So you can play into Heavy Storm. Like if you want 
uh, reinforced strength and solid morning. Uh, the MST is at three in this format. So if you set just solid morning, the likelihood of this getting MST is very high. So what you can do is you can set reinforced strength and solid morning. And the reinforced strength protects your opponent, your solid morning against MSCs because if you're opponent at MSCs, then they have a 50% chance of hitting reinforced strength and you trade out a plus one. So uh, this card is just very, very strong. It's similar to how people play like Legacy Ayata, Garasu, and Jaragri in other formats. Um, and then extra deck, X Saber Monsters, Hyunle, Wayne, Urbellum, Gotham's. Uh, you have to play one of each level at least just because Bogger Knight can only summon. Uh, X Saber Synchros and Wayne's just really good uh, for like synchro climbing while keeping an X Saber name on board. So, yeah. And obviously, High Only is really strong playing the back row. And then Gotham's is how you convert field advantage into hand advantage. And then Natura Beast, Barkeon. This deck is, uh, this card's insane. Natura Beast and Barkeon, like playing through boards. Uh, depending on the deck, like you'll summon this and it'll check for any of the Solemns so that they don't have it. You're just protected for the rest of the turn. So it's just really good, um, yeah. And then level five, Skataster, Librarian. is really good against agents. And they'll play Orient Dragon, Brio, just a generic removal, Black Rose, Scrap Dragon, Sardos, Trishula, and then number 17. This is just in case you like mind control or take control of a level three, like a Sangin, uh, just so you have something to overlay for it. And 2,500 attack comes up, so that's important. Uh, I don't play Utopia or Roach. I don't think you have to, but I don't think they're bad if you do. And then I play two MSC uh, the, uh, on the side, and then I play double creature slot. This is, I side this in whenever I go second against most decks. It helps you out uh, Thunder King, and you can oftentimes set this up with uh, Bogger Knight, summon Amorous Blade, then creature swap, send them the Amorous Blade. Uh, yeah, it's just a very good card in this deck. Double closed forest for like grave keepers and the skill drain malefic deck, like these type of things. Um, this deck already has a good matchup into those because inherently the deck plays through back row very well. But yeah, and then I play triple goes and match. Absolutely broken against plant decks like the Tangu plant deck. Uh, it's insane. It's like an auto win, and this deck plays under it very well because it's all earth. And then two light mirror for the agent decks. Two shadow mirror. I said this in against any deck that plays like. Tour Guide plus Chaos Sorcerer, or like Tour Guide plus Gravekeeper Spy. These type of decks that play like Dark Engines. This card is good against them. And then uh, Double Debunk. So like, post side, the game plan is you just side in um, a bunch of Floodgates, like a bunch of these guys, depending on what you play against. And then you just play a slow game and you just stall them out, kind of, with uh, slowly gaining resource advantage. And then... Going second, I'll side in like some of these cards, creature swaps, and then MSCs depending on matchup, just to help you uh, play through the board and the advantage they get by going first. So yeah, debunk's just good for hitting like DD Crows, Maxi, Valor, Trigodia, like these type of cards that your opponent side in is really good in the plant uh, Tengu plant matchup because it can also hit like Spore, Glow Up Bulb, Dandelion, Tengu, these these guys. So anyways. That's my X-Saber deck profile. I went undefeated at two locals in a row with this, so thanks for watching.